love. Love. It's so hard to meet money. Brother, I lost my home finding Christ. I lost my house exposing Muslims. I lost my family exposing Muslims. And here he says we want money. I'm not seeing the guidance between what? you, man. Like you, some of you are Christians, some of you are Muslims. Where's the guidance? Brother, do you, hey, this guy said we can marry six-year-olds. You said it. Would you, would you marry a six-year-old? Would you marry a six-year-old? Yes! Close! Ah, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Liar, liar. Liar, liar. This guy with a lot of pranks on TikTok, 100,000 subscribers, comes it by scared to the beat. Oh no. Kia fried chicken man. Ah, the Kia fried chicken? Oh no 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 no. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. No 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 no. He's Pink. a bum. Pink. 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 You run universal credit. Yes. You run my tax yeah. money to pay for your s**t. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm famous because he's a fake Muslim. Is it? Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Al Listen to this. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Al Alameen. Maliki Yawmati. Iya kanabdu wa ya kanastai. Itina sirat wal mustaqim. Sirat wal lazina anamta alayhim. Gaira al mawgdubi. Alayhim. Waladwa lina ameen. كل أعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الناس الذي وسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس كل والله واحد الله سماد لام يولد واللام يولد واللام يكون له كفوا أحد إن أتوينك الكوسر في صلي لربك وانهار إن شانيك هو الأبتر كل أعوذ برب الفلك من شر ما هلك ومن شر قاس كنزة وكب ومن شر النفس ساتي فلكب ومن شر حسن إذا شد The cross is what saved me Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is what saved me Jesus Christ is what saved me Ah, anyone can be a Muslim Everybody's born a Muslim from the mother's womb. Everybody's born a Muslim from the mother's womb. كل يا أيها الكافرون لا أبدو ما تبدون ولا أنتم آمدون ما أبد ولا أنا أما أبدو ما أبتم ولا أنا أبدو ما أبتم لا كم دين كم ولا دين. Jesus Christ is the living God. And he can change me, my friends. I was a Muslim. I used to pray my five times a day. A Muslim is one who submits themselves to Allah. That's what a Muslim means. And if I prayed my five times a day, if I gave my zakat, if I did my fasting, according to your belief, according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to Muhammad, I was a Muslim. But when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, my friends, he changed me. I saw the true living God. I had a true presence, I found a true presence of God. I got healed from my sickness. Allah could not heal me from my sickness. Jesus Christ healed me from my sickness. Listen, so Jesus chose you out of everyone here. Many are called, but few are chosen. We are all called to believe in Christ, but only a few choose to believe in faith. I have not That's why today, 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 yes, take the opportunity today. Today, today, is take the day. today is another chance. Amen. It's another chance today. I have not been called by Jesus. Mate. If you, another Jesus says, seek me and you shall find me. Ask and it shall be given to you. Knock and it shall be open. If you seek Jesus on, uh, on a real basis, if you, if, you, if you seek Jesus Christ, he will come to you. Many, many people in Iran, in Saudi Arabia, Jesus has been coming to them in their dreams. Muhammad, one of my, okay, I can show you one but this person's not here with me right now. If you go on YouTube, right, there's many testimonies. Many people have died by putting their faith in Christ. Why are people simply in Saudi Arabia putting their faith in Jesus in the risk of persecution than to die for their faith? It's not worth it, my friend.
I'm not going to be based based that, but you have to look at some sort of evidence. You can't just base your things based on a book. If you look at if you look at the outside sources, if you look, be like me, but he's here. I want to. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like. I want to be like Jesus Christ. I want to be like Jesus. I'll wash your feet. I'll wash your feet. All right. He's got water. I'll wash his feet. The love of Christ. For the love of Christ. For the love of Christ. Exactly. Jesus washed his enemy's feet. If I'm blow here, that's okay. Jesus washed his enemy's feet. For the love of Christ, I will wash your feet. I will wash your feet for the love of Christ. I will. Why? Why are you going by that? Why? Your jump. Your jump. Do you want me to wash your feet? Are you imitating Muhammad? Where's your beard? You're meant to roll your anklets up, your trousers up. Where's your miswak? Where's your miswak? You're meant to dye your hair. Where's your miswak? Do you want to debate? You want to debate? The Muslims love to go to ad hominems. They love to go to ad hominems. They love to insult Christians. They can never defend the faith. Any Muslims who wants to defend the Ummah, feel free to come through. Like Let's get the hadiths up right now. Let's expose Islam. It's so hard to make money. Brother, I lost my home finding Christ. I lost my house exposing Muslims. I lost my family exposing Muslims. And here he says we want money. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to the Hadith collection. Yes, so you lost your family. Yes, Jesus says, when you come to me, you shall lose your life. Count the cost is what Jesus says. Whoever wants to keep the life will lose it. Whoever loses the life for my sake will find it. If you come to Jesus Christ, there is a cost. I lost so many things. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But his will shall be done. And Jesus Christ's name. Shall we preach? Amen. Why do we preach? Amen. Why do we preach? We preach for the sake of the gospel. Amen. We preach to expose the darkness against the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we defend the faith of Jesus because so many Muslims go against Jesus and try to bring the believers of Christianity to Islam, which we have to protect in the name of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. There's no lukewarmity. We must be bold. We must be brave. We must be courageous and we must have masculine Christianity and we must defend the brothers and sisters who these Muslims are converting. Amen. This guy said Jesus was an Arab. What? No, it wasn't Arab. that you are a fake Muslim. He's a Jew. Brother, the Muslims cannot take it when somebody leaves Islam. It's because it pretty much disproves Islam. But a Muslim is one who submits to Allah in their prayers, in their fasting, in their zakat, which was what I did, which was what I did. Alhamdulillah, I was an ex-Muslim for the Lord Jesus Christ, the cross of Christ. This transforms the mind and heart. This transforms our heart, my friends. Jesus Christ is the true living God. The way, the truth, and the life. No man can save you. I promise. Only Jesus Christ can save and give eternal life. You see, glory, glory, glory. So, so many Muslims. Ladies, listen, listen. Muslims, they love to keep the beards. They love to wear robes. But their hearts are far from yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Pharisees, yeah. the Pharisees, they understood scripture. They used to read scriptures, but their hearts it was far from God. So many Muslims are Pharisees. They know the scriptures, but their hearts are far from God. Amen. Amen, brother. You believe in Jesus? I love you. I love you. No, it's just a nonsense. It's a nonsense. Yeah, yeah. That's what Islam teaches. Yeah, yeah. Religion of peace. Where's my lizard? No, no, no. Religion of peace. Lizard, 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 lizard. Religion of peace. Lizard. The Muhammad commands every Muslim to kill a gecko. If a Muslim kills a single gecko, seventy rewards will be given to them. When Jesus Christ says, Come unto me, and you shall have eternal life. It is by his blood you are saved. 
We cannot bribe God with our good deeds, but we are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who's your God? My God is Yahweh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Your God. Can you show me the New Testament Yahweh? Yes. Show me. So, I show you. I hold it, you. I hold it. Oh, he's about to show you. And then when he shows you, when he shows you, what are you gonna say then? Huh? When he shows you, what are you gonna say then? No, no, he left it. What are you gonna say then? Well, if he didn't fight, yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Because we don't know the. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Jesus name is from Yahweh. When he when he shows you, when he shows you, first of all. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, listen, listen, I will, I will, I will. I'm sorry, Testament. Listen, listen. No, listen, no way. In the, I will show you. In the Old Testament, in Isaiah 14, right? This is a prophecy. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Capital L O R D. Yahweh. Prepare the way of the Lord to come. Now. I'll get that. now in the New Testament. In the New Testament. New Testament. In Mark one eight. In Mark one one eight. Right. This is what it says. Let me get it. So, Stay here, bro. Stay here. Stay here. It says it in Mark 1, yes. chapter 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 3. Yes. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. This is talking about Yah uh, Yahweh, which we see in the book of Isaiah. He said it's the Lord. You said it's the Lord. Where's the Yahweh? Lord, the Lord here. Show me Yahweh. The Lord here is talking about Yahweh. It means Kyrios. Kyrios means Yahweh. Kyrios means Yahweh. Kyrios, Kyrios means Yahweh in Greek. It's a translation. Yes, the translation. The Yahweh, Yahweh is what is termed in Hebrew. In Greek, Yahweh is known as Kyrios. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, it says, prepare the way for the Lord. Lord is Yahweh in the Old Testament, in, the, in Hebrew. In the New Testament, it's written in Greek. Prepare the way for the Kyrios, which is Yahweh. There you go. You Why? Why? The Arabs come from the Arabian Peninsula. I'm not seeing the guidance between what? you, man. Like you, some of you are Christians, some of you are Muslims. Where's the guidance? Brother, the DIA, this guy said we can't marry six-year-olds. You said it. Would you marry six years Would you marry six years I wouldn't. Jesus wouldn't. Can you Jesus can wouldn't. Can you hear the woman? Me? Can you hear the woman? I would never rip a woman. The Bible allowed you to hear the woman. Where? The Bible allowed you to hear the woman. Where? Where? He said it. He said it. Is it okay? Open Zechariah. Is it okay? No, no. Open Zechariah. For me to marry a six year old. No, would you? You can hear the woman. The Bible says. But I told you. Jesus said. I told you. Yes. You married a six year old. Six year old. Six year old. What? what do you marry six old? You marry six old. What I want to marry? How old is she? How old is she? She's a woman. Blessed is you. How old is she? Blessed is you, a woman. What do you marry six old? Can you, can you, no, no, can you sleep with your daughter? I would never sleep with my daughter. Jesus would never sleep with his daughter. He said, we can marry six old. What do you marry six year old? You know, Lord, he's still his daughter. Lord was never a class of Jesus. Lord is not our example. Jesus is born. And Lord the is an Bible example. Said, you, Jesus is. You can hate the woman. Would you marry? Would you marry six year old? Would you marry six year old? Yes. There we go. Close. Close. There we go. There we go. Close. Close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Huh? One second. That's not the first time you admit that, you know? Huh? That's not the first time you yeah, admit yeah. that.